How's it going today, everyone? I got some uh, pretty cool feedback last week about sharing a tip um, with you guys. And we talked about turning on a mental filter in sales. We talked about how we would think about the words that we're saying to each customer as, will this benefit the client? And so I wanted to build on that um, for you all and tell you there's kind of another filter. It's, it's very similar, that if you can turn this one on, it really helps your sales out as well. And this one is a filter of always thinking, what is my next move to close this sale? Um, this is a very powerful filter. And what I see will happen a lot is someone will maybe just get caught up talking to a customer. You know, maybe because we're happy we made a great connection with them. And that's okay. We've dealt with a lot of rejection and we're happy to connect with someone, but we lose a little bit of sight of, hey, really focus on what's my next step to close this customer. Now, the biggest benefit that's gonna happen to you when you turn this filter on is that you're going to have to really understand and ask yourself the question, what is my sales process? Now, having a sales process is absolutely critical. Every single successful salesperson in the world has a sales process. Now, I wanna let you in on a little secret though. Some of the really great writers, they'll say, I don't have a process, but here's why they say that, because they have done it for so long, they don't even realize it. They're going through the motions. Their process is sort of subconscious and it's within them. I can assure you that every single person out there that's writing a lot of business has a process that you want to guide the customer through. Now, instead of belabor you with all the process, I'm going to include some really cool links in this email so you can dig in more and learn our process and make it your own. Here's another way to think about this, okay? Try to think about your customer as having just entered an unsolvable maze when they walk into a furniture store. They can't get through it without an expert. It's impossible to solve it your first time. Only you know exactly where to turn and what to do to get through this maze. Now, if you join up with that customer and you just aimlessly start walking wherever the customer wants to go, you're never gonna get through the maze to the other side, which is a sale. Um, it's just happiness for both of you. But if you enter that maze together, you partner with that salesperson or that client that's lost, and you turn left where you need to go left and right where you need to go right, you follow the process, you test close, you present the benefits and features, you ask the right questions, you're gonna wind up on the other side every time. So I wanna challenge you to bring this filter in as well. The filter is, what is my next move to close this sale? It's a great question to be asking yourself. And for the leaders on this call, I would so encourage you when you do your GM introduction to ask your team member to say, hey, where are you at with this sale? What's your next step? If you can begin communicating this, you can help spur your team members into thinking, oh wow, I need to really figure this out, what my next move is if I really wanna benefit the client. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'm gonna include some helpful links for you. As always, I'd love to hear your comments and your feedback.